Now, once we understand how we can use the dynamic route inside this blog page, let's take a look at how we can use SWR. As you all know, using this get static props, Next.js is going to build this page statically when we build this application. But what if I use here SWR? SWR used to fetch the data from the backend and it is useful for caching. What if I say you can use all the features of get static props with SWR? With SWR, you can use all the features of get static props along with the SWR feature. Using SWR, you can pre-render the page for SEO and also have features such as caching, revalidation, focus tracking, refetching on interval on the client side. So let me just use SWR inside this page and show you how you can use it. So what we are going to do is we need to first import a feature function. So I'm going to say here import feature from in the single code I'm going to say double dot forward slash then specify double dot forward slash again and inside this lib folder here I'm going to have this feature dot js file. I'm going to just import this feature from this file then I'm going to use this function right inside this page but what I want instead of using this function right inside this page I'm going to create a new component so instead of exporting this function right here at the top I'm going to say export default function page and I'm going to rename this function to article and get rid of this default statement you can also get rid of this export from here because we are only exporting this default function page. Now inside this page, here I'm going to simply say constant in the object we pass data is loading and is error. As you know, you're going to get all these properties from the feature function. And here I'm going to pass backtick operator and then specify the endpoint, which is API forward slash post. Now, as you know, this endpoint is going to return all the posts. So what we are going to do is instead of getting all the posts, I only want a single post. So if you open your API, if you open the post right down here, you can see we have this post ID slug. Using this endpoint, we can get only one post if I specify here for slash one. So this is going to return only first post as a response inside this data variable. Later, we will understand how we can change this hard-coded value. Just for now, I'm going to leave this as it is. Right down here, I can say if is loading. If it is true, then I'm going to return my component. So we need to first import right up here. Import is loading from double dot forward slash and then specify here my components from the components child and inside this child we have this spinner so instead of this is loading here I'm gonna say spinner and when we have true inside this if statement I'm gonna return my spinner just for that here I'm gonna say if we have error so I'm gonna say is error if we have error then I'm gonna return my error component so I'm gonna say here import error component from single quote double dot forward slash double dot forward slash then specify components child and here we have the error component so i'm going to copy this and paste that right here so if anything went wrong i'm going to get both this statement as a response just for that if we have the data then i'm going to return here my article this function this one and as you know, to this article, you can see we have this, this structure properties. So we can pass here inside this object, we can pass data. But this data is now going to return an object. So we need to destructure this right here. So we pass here spread operator, something like this. So now we can destructure all these values inside this article component. Now let me save these changes. Now let me save these changes and show you the result. You can see. I'm going to get the first post as a response. If I change this URL to three, I'm still going to get the first block. This is because here I choose one. Now what I want, I want to get this parameter value inside this page component. To get that right up here, you need to import use router from Next.js. So here you have to say import use router from Next.js. So pass here next 
and specify here router so from the next JS router I'm going to use use router hook and then right down here I'm going to say constant router is equal to use route so I'm going to call this hook and then here I can say router dot query and in this query I'm going to have an object and inside that object we have a property called post ID so to get that post ID we have to just restructure it so here I'm going to say constant in the object we can destructure this property the property name is post ID and now I can use this property and specify that right here so we pass here dollar in the object I can specify here post ID let me save the changes back to the browser and now you can see when I change this URL I'm gonna get different post data so that's super easy to get the data from the URL inside a component just for that I want to initialize this component as SWR so we need to first configure the SWR and then we can pass the data from the SWR so we can easily cache that data and pass to the component so at the top here I'm gonna say import in the object we import SWR config from the SWR library and we need to wrap this component in SWR config so I'm gonna say here SWR config like this and then we need to paste the article component as it is and just out of that here you need to pass value and inside this value you have to specify the fallback value so if nothing changes you will specify the fallback value otherwise specify the updated data here you pass a parameter called fallback and you get this fallback from the component right up from here fallback something like this and now what you have to do is you have to specify this fallback value so when you create this component you're going to get this value from the get static props right from here so you need to specify here props and inside this props you can specify fallback value so here we specify fallback specify an object and then here we specify the endpoint so in the single code we pass forward slash api post and to this endpoint as you know we have a data called post this one so we specify that data here so what we are going to do is using swr we are just going to cache this data instead of getting this data every time when we update this component I'm gonna get this data from the cache let me save this file back to the project and reload it now this data is coming from the cache memory now we can do the same thing and use the same technique to cache the data for all the components that's upon you you can use this SWR config and cache your data